Welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. You know what? It's the 4th of July coming up. And we're standing under the right place. It's the gazebo. And guess what I have here with me? Shivalo and Monique. The Charleston Gourmet Burger people. And you need, if you haven't tasted it yet, you need to get it. You will love it. Welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. Thank you for having us. Thank you us. so much. Thank you. Okay. Let's go back. Tell me how this whole thing got started. Well, we were just having a barbecue in our backyard for our family and friends. And Shivalo actually came with the idea. He wanted to make this amazing hamburger for our guests. When he says we, he means me because mm -hmm. he doesn't do all the cooking I do. And so I finally, you know, said, fine, we'll make this hamburger. And we went down to the farmer's market. We got some herbs and spices that we thought would work well together, put them in a bowl. And the idea was we'll grill a little bit. We'll taste it. We'll see if we like it. And if we like it, we'll serve it to our guests. Well, before we knew it, people were heading down our driveway. And I just said to Shivalo, serve it. We don't have time to taste it. <laughs> Just on a whim. Just on a whim. I mean, it's just unbelievable. We just had this idea. But here's our thing. We like burgers that are juicy, mm -hmm. burgers that have flavor. Uh -huh. You know, burgers that once you bite into it, it just gets you excited. You just, you just love it. And we wanted to create that because that's the type of burgers that we love. It's funny, Monique and I, we, we've loved burgers. Just starting to date, when I first met her, that was one of the things we had in common. Our first date was McDonald's, Randolph. Your first date was at McDonald's. That's what I had. I was a cheap date. Two cheeseburgers and French fries. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you know. Now, if hey, if steak's not on the menu, I can't even get her to come out the house to to go to a restaurant. So it's it, things have changed now. Things have changed. And now that it's the Fourth of July coming up, and we're going to talk to the people about grilling burgers. All right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. We have. So, I mean, Fourth of July. I mean, what what is more important on 4th of July than, than family, than backyard, than, than cookout. Burgers. Burgers. It's all, you know, all part of the whole deal of 4th of July. Don't you agree? In America. I agree. I agree. Okay, so we're going to get started. All right. Okay, I'm going to let you all lead the way, and yeah. I'm going to follow. What you yeah. want to do when you want to create the perfect hamburger, we like 80-20. So I, I think 80-20 has that perfect balance. It has just enough fat, gives you a lot of good flavor, juicy. So I would start out with 80-20. Mm -hmm. um, what we have now, we have a pound of beef, 80-20 beef. And just, you know, if you, everybody has these little supplies at home, garlic, a little bit of onion powder, mm -hmm. pepper, a little seasoning salt. And that's it, mix it together. And we used about a half a teaspoon of each one. Or if you want, if you're not a cook and you can't remember all those ingredients. or you I'm don't. not a cook. You're yeah. not a cook. We made it super easy for you. We have the burger marinade that you can go to several retailers. You can order it online and you just add a quarter cup of that to a pound of beef or turkey and it gives you the perfect burger every time it's juicy it's tender has lots of flavor and that, that's it all you have to do is take that bottle quarter cup put it in your meat mix it together make your patty and you're good to go and you've got your perfect burger that's a perfect burger and the key is we're mixing it in before it goes on the grill you see this is not something to put on after you know even though we have a sauce that goes on after also to give it flavor but you want flavor also inside the meat all throughout all through all throughout yeah you want to bur you want your your burger to taste that flavor all the way through you want a flavorful juicy burger and that's what the burger marinade does okay Cheval, um, we're going to follow you, you. Go. let's let's go to the grill so these patties have already been marinated with our marinade and all those ingredients already in the patty. So you just mix it around, you form your patty, and then you just go over to the grill. Well, I'm going to follow you over here with this mic. <laughs> there you go. Then we're just going to put them on the grill. Yeah, so now it's just on the grill. and. We don't want to start turning it right away. No, when you put them on the grill, leave it alone. So if you want, if you like your burgers rare, um, you want to maybe two to three minutes on each side, about two to three minutes on uh -huh. each side. But when it gets on there, leave it alone. Don't keep turning it over and peeking at it. Leave it alone. Let it cook two to three minutes on each side. That's if you want it rare. Now, me, I don't really like a lot of 
pink showing with my burgers. I don't like some people really? like the blood. I don't like that. So I like to I prefer to cook mine. If you're like me and you want your burger cooked well, I do about three to four minutes. Or, or if you really really want it well, you can do four to five minutes. Some people may say that's overdone but i don't really like a lot of pink so it just really depends on your preference but i would say three minutes three okay. minutes as a general on each side let because you don't want to start mashing it then you're losing all the juice you're losing all the flavor you're putting it in the bottom of the grill you want to stay in the burger you have taught me something today because <laughs> i'm one of the ones who turn all the time no. and mash all don't the time bother it. don't mash it let it cook let it stay and if you notice we have two burners growing so this one, this is my low heat one. So if maybe if you want to toast your buns, I know Shivalo always likes his bun toasted. So mm -hmm. we always have a one that's just for low heat, that's just for toasting my the buns. If we want to do maybe a pineapple, some people like other things on their burger. So you can use your low heat for that. So if you want to, want to add a little something extra, maybe if you want to put like an, an onion or something on there, you can you can do that on your low heat side. Now tell me how long again should I let it stay? Let it stay. Basic rule, if you want to do rare, medium rare, two to three minutes. But if you each like side. your each side, each side, each side. How, how do you like your burger cook? Medium well. Medium well. So I would say about three to four minutes each side. Don't mash it. <laughs> don't keep turning. Don't mash it and don't keep turning. <laughs> don't keep turning, yes. There you go. And we try, uh, some people keep the grill open. We try to actually close the grill. That way all of, all of the, the smokiness just comes all in it. Yeah. Now, you're already smelling the aroma of this, huh? Yes. 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 Uh, yeah. <laughs> and so that's, that's when you know your meat is cooking real good. So now, what you're telling me from the beginning, you all have this sauce that you put in the burger meat that makes it complete. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And it, it's super easy. You don't have to be a chef. Anyone can do it. It's a quarter cup of the burger marinade. It's called Charleston Gourmet Burger Marinade. Put a quarter cup into your ground beef or turkey uh, so, and just mix it together. That's you can before, do, you, before cook you cook it. When it. the meat is raw, right. before you do anything to it, mm -hmm. you're going to mix it in. Even if you have ground, ground beef mm -hmm. or ground turkey. You can do venison, yeah. uh, chicken. We even have people that uh, use it with the portobello mushrooms. So I don't want to forget my vegetarian people mm -hmm. for 4th of July. Take your portobello mushroom and take the marinade and let it soak in. Let it mm -hmm. soak in maybe about 20 minutes and then go ahead and put it on the grill same way. Now, a lot of people love our marinade because it doesn't have a lot of things that people may not want, right. like a lot of salt. It's all natural. It's low sugar, low sodium, mm -hmm. low calorie, low carb. So you're not getting all that stuff you don't want. Yes. Yeah. So nice and healthy. So this is going to make good for a good 4th of July. Oh, absolutely. Oh, man, on the 4th. As I said before, this, the 4th is about family. But you have one problem when you cook these burgers like this yes, on Yes, there your is grill. one what's, big what's the problem? problem. There's one big problem when you use our marinade and you, and you marinate the meat and you put it on the grill. What's the problem? The problem is the aroma that I was talking about, the smoke, it ends up attracting all the neighbors to come and... <laughs> and <laughs> Then you have a whole crowd of people in your backyard. So you've got to make sure you have enough food. Make sure you have enough food. If you're going to cook right. these burgers, you're going to do it right. Make sure you have enough for everybody. That's right. That's right. Well, it looks like our burgers are cooking here. They are cooking well. So yeah. so we have about another another minute and a half, and oh. then, then it'll be ready to flip. Okay. Yeah. So now tell us um, where where they can find your product. Uh, you can go to Whole Foods. You can go to Walmart. Lowe's Home Improvement, we are in the grilling section. Yes, Lowe's Home Improvement that sells the wood. <laughs> so go right by the grills. I'll ask you, um, if you get in a grill, what's the first thing you want to do after you get a grill? You're going to buy a grill. You're going to need to need, cook. You know what? You want right. to buy your sauce. I'm going to buy my sauce. You want to buy your sauce. <laughs> right. and all your, so it's right there. So Lowe's makes it super easy. Uh, That's right. Kroger you can also go to mm -hmm. and uh, or, or charlestongourmetburger.com. You can also order online. Wow. Okay. Now, you're in Home Depot. Not uh, Home Depot Lowe's. yet. Lowe's. Lowe's. Lowe's Home Improvement. Walmart. Walmart. Yes. Costco. Yes. Costco. Harris Costco, Teeter. Harris Teeter. Whole Every, Foods. All the Harris Teeters. Yes. Whole Foods. And then you mentioned something about Kroger's. Kroger. Kroger. Yes. And yes. <laughs> so if you're you're in uh, you know have family in Atlanta or in Texas, they can head on over to Kroger and buy the Charleston Gourmet Burger marinade and sauce. Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, we were talking earlier, 
and you mentioned something about a burger that you can microwave. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. that's our newest, that's our newest product. Not out yet, but coming out very, very soon, within mm -hmm. the next uh, few weeks. Now, this is something that we've always wanted to do, is make it super easy for the consumer to have one of our burgers. Mm -hmm. So what we did is we have now a fully cooked, microwavable cheeseburger that already My has. God. Yes. You will never believe it came out of the microwave. It doesn't taste like it came uh -huh. out of the microwave. And so in August, you'll be able to get it. It'll be in hundreds of Walmart stores around the country. And our marinade um, is already in it. So it's already, it's already in it. It's already marinated. Or QVC will be rolling out on QVC in the next few weeks. So follow us on social media, Charleston Gourmet Burger Company, and you can find out when we're going to be on QVC, and you can mm -hmm. order your own box. So you're making this easy for people like me easy. who can't cook. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> super easy. Go. Listen, it's all, we've already done all the work. That's it. So you know, just pull it out, open the wrap, put it in the microwave, one minute and 20 seconds, you have a burger that tastes like it came off the grill. Okay, let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take a break, and then we're going to come back and finish these hamburgers that's on this grill because I'm ready to taste the Charleston Gourmet Burger. There you go. We'll be right back after this break. Okay, welcome back to Bounce Around Charleston. Now we're going to take these hamburgers off of this grill. It's time to chow down. Come on, Shivalo. Monique, you're doing a good job right. handling that plate. Okay. <laughs> now we have our toasted buns. Our toasted buns. buns. Uh-oh. And that's what this is what Shavalo likes. He always likes to toast his bun on the grill. So remember that low heat section. Okay. And once we have done this, then we have the other sauce that we put over the burgers. Right, this is the burger sauce. And just like the burger marinade, this is gluten-free, it's all natural sauce, it's still low sugar, still low sodium. And tastes, and tastes amazing. <laughs> yeah, it tastes amazing. And it's a nice alternative to ketchup. Ketchup has a lot of sugar in it, and so this is the healthiest way you can enjoy your burger. Mm. So we're just gonna go put just a little bit, just a, just a little dollop on top. Or if you like my children, they like it running off. <laughs> And just a little bit, bit of the burger sauce. You can see the fresh garlic and onions. You can see that in yes, there. Yes. It smells amazing. And just put a little bit on it. That's all. And it's the perfect finishing touch for your hamburger. Nice. So this is what this is exactly what makes the burger taste good. Makes the burger taste amazing. Uh, you know, it's it has so much love that we put into it. Again, this started in our backyard for our family. Right. So it's something that we're just sharing with other families and just sharing with the, with the world. Right. And so every bite of a burger, you will taste a little bit of our family and the Wilson Debrianos <laughs> <laughs> right there right. in yeah. every bite. All and this is going to make for a wonderful Fourth of July. Wonderful 4th of July, healthy 4th of July, healthy 4th of July, and tasty. There you go. <laughs> okay. So again, let's tell the people where they can find your product. Oh boy, our product is available in Walmart. It's in Lowe's Home Improvement Stores, next to the grills, in Kroger's. Kroger, you can find it mm -hmm. in Kroger, Harris Teeter, Harris Whole Teeter. Foods, mm -hmm. or you can go to charlestongourmetburger.com and use our yes. store locator, find a location near you, or you can order it online. Order too. it online and it'll yeah. arrive right to your doorstep. Worldwide shipping. So it doesn't matter what country you're in, doesn't matter what state you're in. If you want to send it to a loved one, maybe they're mm -hmm. overseas, you can still order online. Mm -hmm. Shivalo and Monique, we thank you for being on Bounce Around Charleston and sharing your gourmet burger, Charleston gourmet burger product with us here on Bounce Around Charleston. Thank you for having us. Thank it's you our so pleasure. Much. Thank you so much. And now you all about to get on the road to do what? We are oh. headed to the Essence Festival yes. with Walmart. We are mm -hmm. a featured supplier for Walmart mm -hmm. for Essence. So um, if anybody's headed over to Essence, check us out in the Walmart Pavilion. Right in New Orleans. Right in New Orleans, yep. Y yes. Well, we wish you a wonderful trip, and thank you again for being on Bounce Around Charleston. Shavala and Monique, Charleston Gourmet Burger Company. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay, you heard it right here on Bounce Around Charleston getting ready for, an, like Shavalo says, an amazing 4th of July. We'll be right back after this break. Mm -hmm. 